and they did a pretty good job lining this up except for one massive glaring error. See if you can guess what it is before I tell you at the end of the video. Hey my friends, if you've ever been interested in WoW exploration, you've likely seen some of the early Outland stuff that's somehow within the Deadmines instance or just outside of the dungeon. And several months ago, I made a Deadmines video, but it was before I sort of started to focus on like how the models fit into the maps. And it was before I set up my vanilla client to really show off how this stuff looks. And in that video, I did a dungeon run through and I showed the model, but quite a few people commented and very correctly pointed out like, hey, you missed one of the most epic secrets in all of WoW, the Outland stuff. So going back 20 years to some of the earliest WoW exploration content from like the godfather of exploration, Dopefish, and the WoW exploration, and the Nagaholic movies that were on Warcraft replays, this like crazy mystery was shown, and there's been tons of great videos since showing this stuff off and explaining how to get there, but I'm not sure it was ever made clear where exactly this stuff is relative to the Deadmines content and why it's there. And that's what we'll get into here. So when you're playing the game here in Westfall, you're in Map Zero, Eastern Kingdoms. You enter the farmhouse here and you go into this world model object, Deadmines A, which looks like this. And it's situated below the terrain map, sort of like this. And if we line up the farmhouse in this view, you can see that this is the caves you'd go through. The undead miner area would be down over here. And the room where you'd run toward the instance portal, maybe jumping over a little railing to get down, is here. And then you zone into the instance portal and are moved from Map Zero to Map 36, Deadmines. And then you're inside this model, Deadmines B WMO, which includes the huge ship and the big goblin foundry and the rest of the instance model. And this model doesn't ever get loaded into the Eastern Kingdoms map. It's only inside the Deadmines map. And we'll look at that more in a second. But just for fun, you can see how it would line up all together. And if you bring it into this view, and they did a pretty good job lining this up, except for one massive glaring error. See if you can guess what it is before I tell you at the end of the video. All right, so here is Deadmines B world model object. And our common area is the room where we zone in here, and you can see that they are the same on both models. So if we line everything up, it looks like this. And the Juggernaut is over here in its cove behind the big door, which is there in the very south of Westfall or the north of STV here. And yes, that big door is actually here in game in Eastern Kingdoms. So from like a story perspective, here is the dead mines beneath the hills of Westfall. And if you caught the mistake before I tell you at the end of this video, let me know in the comments. Okay, so we've zoned in, we've moved from map zero to map 36 here. We wind through the tunnels of Deadmines B, fighting the Ogre Foreman and Sneed and the Shredder and through the Foundry and to the big ship with Van Cleef. And that model is laid into the map like this, with much of the instance tunnels beneath the terrain over here. But we know that for like two decades, explorers have glitched their way out of this model, either as mages blinking back through the instance portals or by standing on a pipe against the top of the models and logging in and out. And you get out of the model and down to either a white surface or potentially different textured surfaces. And eventually you'd find this area of what was always called either beta outlands or secret or old outlands. But it was never shown on the map here, map 36, or made clear like where we were and why it was there. Well, if we start off here in the ironclad cove and head out past Van Cleef's ship out the top, which has this single layer artificial ceiling for the cave, and we head either west or southwest, we find the untextured white terrain and even some of the different elevations of the unfinished terrain. And if we continue along, we eventually reach this orange texture that doesn't exist on the map, sort of this outlands or hellfire style ground. And there are hills and floating trees and chunks of floating rock and this big open scar on the land. And it's surrounded by these upside down dollar on shields that have their sort of like sparkling star effects on the top half of their spheres. And by the way, we know that they're from Dalaran or they are the Dalaran shields and not like Netherstorm shields or something else because they actually have the same reflection as the actual Dalaran shield up in Hillsbrad. And we can tell pretty much exactly where we and where these things are by using coordinates or commands to get our coordinates in the game and then on the map using the WoW export tool. But it's actually very easy to tell where this entire orange section is because it's a perfect square and it intersects right at the corner here with the primary main part of the surrounding terrain for the Ironclad Cove, which would be right here on the map. So while it doesn't exist on the map, just by taking overhead snapshots of these areas, I pulled out first what the orange square would likely look like. It would look like this. So I placed that on the map here. And then the rest of the stuff, the scar and the hills and the trees would all look like this. And again, you can get the relative size by looking at the cords, but it's pretty easy to just see that the big scar is roughly half the size of this big orange square. So I think it would look like this in its correct spot. So I'm gonna call this the actual finished Deadmines map. And now we know like where on map 36 we actually are in all these great exploration videos. 
And as for like, why the heck is all this stuff here? Well, if you don't know, John Stotts is one of the first WoW 3D model designers, I think behind Dana Jan, who was first. And he addresses this in a great interview by Super Soka, who asked him point blank, like, why is all that stuff there in the Dead Mines? And I'll play a quick bit of it, but in short, he explained that this was likely a dungeon designer just screwing around with props or quickly checking out new assets and then just leaving it in the game either by mistake or because they just didn't care and it didn't really affect too much. So here's John. When a level designer is placing the dungeon and they've got exterior terrain, somebody could be standing over their shoulder and said, hey, have you seen the trees from El Emerald Dream? And it's, oh, no, what are they? Uh, I've been waiting for those. And they'll place them in some little pasteboard area of the dead mines and they'll look at them and say, oh, okay, those trees look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they'll just go back to the dead mines. So you can almost visualize, you know, it's 2001, Dana Jan, the designer credited with dead mines is hard at work. And another designer comes by and says, Hey, have you seen the stuff I'm working on for Outland? And he quickly moves down to an unused area where he's working, loads it in and says, yeah, it looks great. Goes back to working on dead mines and they never think about it again, but it creates 20 years of like mystery and intrigue for nerds like me and any of you out there that enjoy this stuff too. All right. So finally coming full circle, the problem with these great maps, is that when you come out of the cave, the front of the ship and the big door is on the left, to the north. But in the Eastern Kingdoms, it was clearly to the south. So the door should have either been to the south, on your right, or the entire map flipped upside down like this. So that the door and the coastline of Westfall is on the south, and the main model would stay where it is, but the exit model, which is this small cave here, is model Dead Mines D, would need to be on the left or the west side to line up with how it is in Eastern Kingdoms. And incidentally, Dead Mines Model C is the exit cave outside in Eastern Kingdoms. So anyway, it's totally backward and it doesn't matter at all. And I doubt hardly anyone ever noticed, probably including the dungeon designers that they made this game. But there you have it. This is the completed Dead Mines map and some additional context for how the old outlands that we've been exploring for so long actually fits into the game. As always guys, I really appreciate you choosing to watch these videos. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day.